Learning in caustic art is fun, and fantasy is a great way of working, because you can apply the colours as normal in bands on the iron, and then put them on the card and work into the results. So here we're using several bands of colour, light in the middle, getting darker and darker, but reflected same colours on both sides. Then just bed the iron down on the card and slide it across. Whilst the wax is still warm, lift the trailing edge of the iron slightly off the card and lift the iron upwards. So you're lifting that back edge to reveal these wonderful dribbled wax patterns. So watch again. Heat up first because it's easier when it's warm and then lift the back edge as you slightly raise the iron. So you bed the iron down and as you move along keep that back edge off the card so the wax is dribbling down underneath the iron. See how the card is lifting off the table? And this suctional effect produces wonderful fantasy results. Then you can work into the foreground here just wriggling the iron very very lightly moving across and of course you can layer effects so put down some dabbing and then do another wriggle on top and in this way you build up bands of effect layers of depth another one and sometimes a simple dab like that very last one can create wonderful foreground putting on a border adding different colors in fantasy work pretty much anything goes there's no right and wrong and you can change what you're doing so if you don't like something try something else different types of shuffling of patterning using the edge of the iron just behind the tip to make these wriggle marks lots of things are possible you just have to play and at the end of the day if you don't like what you did you can always just put some more wax over it so here some strong dark blue color to frame the nice light of the fantasy image and made into a sort of a doorway or iron shape even an arch and then patterning around the edges seeing how that feels how that looks when you're being creative you have to explore you have to try things the scribing tool is for scraping the wax off and this one's been slightly upgraded by having the edge sharpened into a, a sort of a blunt knife edge and that curved slightly curved edge that I've now got there allows very careful removal of wax it works fine out of the box but if you do one of the edges like this you won't regret it a pathway parallel to the bottom of the card and obviously getting larger as it gets closer removing all the crumbs of wax if you don't they can get everywhere click get them off the scribing tool as well because you don't want to polish your artwork later on and have a crumb of wax smear color all over the light part now the scribing tool works as you'd expect you just press and draw with it making little symbols following lines working carefully remember those crumbs of wax you can see them there if you scrape off areas you can reveal the card underneath you can work down edges of things so highlighting is another way of using the scribing tool get rid of those little bits of wax you couldn't draw into the image of course so here a simple little fence way cleaning the scribing tool and then just drawing gently doesn't have to be too accurate in fantasy work it doesn't really matter a few little birds cleaning off and in those areas where you've got marks you can outline them so here just outlining or filling in the boxes which were scribed and the value of doing that is that the color stays clean it's not mixing into the blue that was already there because there wasn't any blue there you've taken it away 
so you can put in very clean colour by scribing the area first. Of course you can make rows of dots, other types of patternings, and they can look very attractive, they can make it a bit more fun. And even when you've got detail on there, you can always heat the wax, you can always change things like this white border. You can use a stylus to put decoration into the white border. Cleaning the stylus just through the tissue, remember. Polishing at the end. And there's a few crumbs of wax on there, I can see. So the scribing tool can be used to pick them up and to get rid of little blemishes that perhaps you don't want. Put a few more pattern marks in. Remembering to clean the crumbs of wax away. And there you have it. The wax sealer is a tough acrylic coating to protect the fragile surface of the wax. Make a cloth pad into a sort of a ball shape. Put some sealer on. This is quite a lot for an A6 card actually. And then on the polished wax, just spread it around using that cloth as your spreading tool. If you haven't cleaned the crumbs of wax, they'll stick to the fabric, so make sure you do that properly. And then dabbing, just dabbing on and off like this, and you can see where it was smeared you get lines, and where it's dabbed it's almost invisible. So the dabbing approach is creating the least amount of mark, and when it dries you really won't see that the sealer is there. So that's our sealed fantasy image. Lots of fun, a great thing to do with encaustic art.